So now, here we are. Thanks very much indeed. And um, I have to say, I, I really love the old pomp and ceremony, you know. It's, um, I, I tried to talk them into letting me descend from the ceiling <laughs> on, on a velvet rope. But there were, um, there were kind of health and safety issues, I think, involved with that. Um, this is an, a, an amazing honor to get, to get this um, prize. It was a brilliant shortlist with, with writers I've read and loved for years on it, so I'm really thrilled to get it. And I have to thank lots and lots of, of, of people, um, and, and kind of not least of whom are, of course, the, the sponsors, um, Impact, because this is a very lively addition to the finances, you know? Um, but, but actually, first of all, I really want to thank the three libraries that, that nominated my book in the first place. And in a kind of an odd way, I, I, I feel connections with all, with all three of them, because Limerick um, City Library nominated the city of Bohan, and I, I, I grew up in Limerick. And as a, as a small, odd little child, I, I would have spent many hours and many days hiding from the sun inside in Limerick City Library, you know? And it's, it's the really great thing about libraries that you know, these small, odd little children show up with kind of pale faces on them and, and with no social skills <laughs> and with strangely set eyes, you know. And they're immediately welcomed and embraced and say, in you go, and here's a whole, a whole world of books for you and a whole wealth of worlds for you to explore, you know. And, and, and you, of course, immediately go in and start looking for the dirty bits. Um, do you have Lalita, you know? Um, so, so thanks very much to, to Limerick City Library. Um, and I was very embarrassed actually recently, I, I was asked to write a little essay about James Joyce's book Dubliners. And I took my copy down off, off the shelf at home in Sligo and, and I discovered that, that it is actually due back to Limerick City Library <laughs> in, in something like March 5th, 1985. So a very hefty fine, obviously is awaiting me. Fortunately tonight I'm in a position to, um, <laughs> to, to negotiate a settlement with, with the City Library. I'll talk about this in the bar later on with, with the people from there. Um, I, I was also so nominated by Cork City Libraries and I, I spent much of my twenties in Cork City. And again many hours and afternoons as a kind of an odd pale twenty-something would have been spent in the Grand Parade Library. And, and at that stage I was kind of trying to write a bit myself, you know, so um, I wouldn't really have been reading the books in there, I would have just been kind of sat around the library with a kind of bitter face on me and looking up at the shelves and thinking, I, I'm, I'm way better than all these people, you know, and then, that's another of the phases you have to go through. Um, so thanks to Cork City Library very, very much indeed, and also to Dublin City Libraries who, who nominated Bohan as well. Um, when I was writing the novel in, in 2008 and 2009, I was mostly based around Dublin City and I would have been in and out, in and out of the, the libraries all the time. In fact, when I, when I was inventing the kind of mad, deranged, homicidal, malevolent, dangerous streets of Bohan, I, I was myself living out on the, the mean streets of, of Clontarf. <laughs> so, um, so, so thanks very much to, to Dublin City Libraries. And the thing about libraries is once you start going there as a kid, whenever you go to a library anywhere else in the world, after that you feel immediately like you're at home, you know. Um, I have to thank, I, I want to thank anybody who's, who's, who's given me money in, in, in the room. I, I don't just mean random people who have tapped up for a tenor or, or anything like that. But, but the people like the Arts Council and Culture Ireland who support writers and artists here all the time, you know, and it's really important. Um. Of course, I have to thank the, the, the five judges, you know, because, you know, what can I say except I think you've done an absolutely superb job, you know? Um, and of course, everyone, Dublin City Libraries and, and UNESCO Office and everyone who's organised this award. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's big awards like this that keep books and fiction and the literature that we love and that sustains us, that it keeps it at the centre of the conversation in this country and in other countries. And it's, it's a tricky time for books. You know, they've been pressed from all angles. People are, are spending their lives with, with so much competing things coming at them all the time. And, 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 you know, books, I think, still have a really central place in Ireland. And literature has such a central place here. But we can never be 
complacent about that or self-congratulatory about it. We just have to fight like dogs all the time to keep it in that place, you know, because what I believe very strongly is that books are the best of us. Um, I, I want to thank my various um, publishers. Um, thanks to everyone at Jonathan Cape and Vintage in London, most especially at Cape, my, my editor there, Alex Bowler, who's a joy to work with. And um, a, a very young gentleman, but a very, very old-fashioned editor, you know, and that's, um, that's a brilliant thing to have, uh, especially for a writer like me who turns in all sorts of reams of rambling madness all the time, to, declaring a genius, you know. So um, thanks to Alex and everyone at Cape and Vintage. I want to send my thanks to Grey Wolf Press in the US who've done an absolutely brilliant job in, in pushing um, City of Bohan over there and they've been indefatigable in, in that. Um, I, I want to thank very much um, Declan Mead at the Stinging Fly Press in, in Dublin who published my first book of stories a number of years ago now and is a... And a really, really brilliant publisher and editor and who is really important to the life of books in, in Ireland and, and, and further afield now, I think. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting there, I think. I just want to thank my agent, Lucy Luck, who's here tonight. And Lucy and I have been plotting world domination for many years now, and, and it's all working out beautifully. Um, uh, Olivia Smith has to put up with me on a, on a daily basis and um, is always the first reader. And, and very often the most savage critic as well, you know, so that, that's a great thing to have in the house. Um, and, and finally, um, I hope I haven't forgotten anyone, apologies if I have, but just finally, just to think again about that kind of small, odd child you find in the corner of a library, you know. And I think when you start going to the libraries at six or seven or eight years of age, you learn a couple of things very, very quickly. You learn that it's completely possible and feasible to live your entire life in books and true books and lost in books. And the other thing you learn is that that's a really beautiful place to live your life. Thank you very much. Thanks.